Today, we are going to test for the physical and chemical properties of lipids. And for this activity, the materials required are the following. Our samples are clarified batter, vegetable oil, refined oil, which can be linseed oil, and cotton oil. The reagents that we will be using are water, alcohol, specifically ethanol, chloroform, potassium hydrogen sulfate, and Hubble's reagent. And for our apparatus, we are going to use test tubes, dropper, filter paper, and Bunsen burner. This activity is composed of four different tests, which are solubility test, translucent spot test, acrylene test, and the Hubble's test. Before we start the activity, make sure that you have your paper and pen with you, so you can easily take note of the observations that you will be making while watching this experiment. Now that you're ready, we can start with the experiment. Our first test is the solubility test. Here, we are going to test for the solubility of lipids with different solvents. First, set up your test tubes in this manner and label the lipids that you will be using. The first test tube contains clarified butter, the second test tube contains vegetable oil, and the last test tube contains linseed oil for our refined oil. And for our first solvent, we will be using water. Now that we have the setup ready, we will be adding about 5 ml of our solvent in each of the test tube and mix. Observe what happens after the addition of water to each of the oil or fat sample. Record your observations. You will need this later when you answer the laboratory report sheet. For the solubility test of lipids with ethanol as our solvent, we will be using a Bunsen burner. After adding about 5 ml of ethanol into our sample, directly heat the mixture and observe what happens. Make sure that you always write down your observations so you won't need to rewatch the video when answering the lab report sheet later. Our last solvent for the solubility test is chloroform. The procedure here is the same as what we did with water. After the addition of chloroform, we will simply shake the test tube. Observe what happens and record your observations. Our next test is the translucent spot test. For our first lipid sample, we will have the clarified butter. Place a little amount of this sample on a filter paper, then press another filter paper on top. 
hold the filter paper against a light source such as this candle and observe. Please make sure that you always record your observations as you will be needing this to answer your laboratory report sheet later. We will just be repeating the same steps for vegetable oil and linseed oil and then observe and record your observations. For acrolein test, we will just be adding a small amount of potassium hydrogen sulfate crystals with our lipid samples and then heat the mixture directly on a burner. Observe the formation of a gas and odor that will be produced. Record this as your observations. And then repeat the steps for vegetable oil and for linseed oil and record your observations. We are down to our last test for lipids, the Hubble's test, which is a test for determining the unsaturation of lipids. For this test, we will be needing chloroform and Hubble's reagent, and our samples will be linseed oil and cotton oil. For the procedures, we will be adding about 3 ml of chloroform in each oil sample and then shake to mix well. Then, we will add about 3 to 4 drops of Hubble's reagent and observe the fading of the violet color in the test tubes. Record your observations. And that's it for today. See you in our next experiments.